Good morning, everybody. James here. That's right. James is here with a deal stream for you. I know it's a little late for my start time, but hey, I fell asleep. <laughs> Those things happen, right? You guys just accidentally fall asleep and then forget what you're doing. Uh, that's what happened to me this morning, but I'm here uh, ready to do this little deal stream. Uh, we've got a bunch of really cool products that we're going to be showing off and having fun with and all of that other cool stuff. First and foremost, I am literally going to take my socks off because, well, my house is really hot and I don't feel like one. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, I believe that's probably Mrs. Dragon Blogger. <laughs> uh, it's definitely Friday. Uh, I fell back asleep. I fell back asleep. Uh, that's a first for me. I normally don't fall back asleep once I'm up in the morning. Of course, I'm not sleeping well, so. One of those things. One of those things. All right, guys, we're going to definitely do this. We got a bunch of cool products. We're going to show you guys some videos, but of course, with most of those videos, I'm going to over talk over all of those because, well, I know the products enough. Now, if you guys know a deal stream, you know that we're going to be showing you guys a bunch of cool products at a great price point for you all. Now, we're definitely going to start this off with some Jackery products. If you guys have not been around for uh, the Jackery products or my Jackery streams, then you know you're missing something special. Uh, these products are actually really cool, really amazing little products. We're actually going to start this off with the, I believe, the Jackery Explorer 1000 sta uh, station with solar panels. Now, in the video, I'm going to show you guys the power station alone, but there are solar panels that come in this kit. Now, of course, this is the Jackery Explorer 1000. It is, of course, a handheld uh, power station. Uh, it does have a fixed handle and 1,002 watt hours of power. Now, with that 1,002 watt hours of power, you have three AC outlets at 1,000 watts of pure sine wave connectability. That means you technically can probably plug in your kitchen stove or your kitchen fridge into this and run that. Most stoves are about 800 watts. Your kitchen fridge should be approximately 520 to 540 watts, so you should be good there. Now, with it, you also get two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, and you get a DC 12 volt 10 amp cigarette lighter plug. Now above that, you're gonna have two DC uh, ports as well. Those are gonna be input ports. One is gonna be your standard round. The other is gonna be like an alligator clip. The alligator clip is meant for your solar panels, which is kind of cool with that. Now fixed handle, flashlight on the side, drop protection. Now drop protection is limited to like 0.9 meters, guys. It's not like you're not going to be dropping it over 10 feet. Don't do it. You shouldn't do it. It is lithium batteries. Now, with that being said, I've actually dropped one of these approximately nine feet and it did not hurt it whatsoever. I don't recommend it, but just know that, hey, uh, you know, it took a little bit of a beating and you're good with this. Now, this, of course, is going to be able to run. It's going to take about five hours to fully charge in a wall outlet. About 11 and a half hours on a cigarette car lighter in a car, like maybe an RV camping trip, day trip or something to charge it that way. Or if you have two of the Solar Saga 100 solar panels that's in this kit, about six hours. So outside, have it plugged in and you're good to go with that. And I kind of like the ease of that, not having to worry about paying my electric bill and all that. What's even better is since it is a, you know economic, it's like really solar energy uh, great with this. It's definitely eco-friendly to a point, um, but it's silent. You don't hear this thing run. It's literally silent. It's about seven decibels. Most of that decibels is literally you hitting the switch to turn on the plug. Now, running devices, like I said, you could run a, like a house fridge off of this if you really wanted, but... Now, there are other pieces you could probably run, like a heated blanket. Maybe it's a uh, power outage during summer, or not summer, winter, uh, and you want to keep uh, warm. A heating blanket could probably run about 11 hours off of this device. Or if you are solar charging it and running that electric blanket, you can do that as well. That big old screen TV behind me, guys, you could run that for probably about eight hours, nine hours of runtime with this device. Sai, good morning, good morning. That three watt flashlight that's on the side of this device could be ran for about 65 hours. Uh, so you have that flashlight or that light as you need when you need with it. 
The device itself does weigh a little bit, guys. It's approximately like 23 plus pounds. All right. Plus the solar panels, the full kit's going to weigh you about weigh in at about 41 pounds. Now, what I can and will tell you is it's $999, normally $1,700. Uh, if you spend over $1,000 with Jackery, you actually get a free carrying bag. Uh, so there is that as well. Uh, if you spend a little more, you get a free carrying bag. And I kind of like that. Now, with that, though, that, of course, is the 1000 kit. Uh, that 1000 right there is a cool little kit with that bunch of very, very amazing little products. Uh, what's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Let's let's just go there. How are you guys doing? Everybody having a great day? Everybody remember to stay awake? Because I didn't. Uh, we're going to move over to the Jackery Explorer 3000 Pro. And I'm going to bounce the screens. Guys, the 3000 Pro is their largest standalone system. And what do I mean by standalone system? Means it's not it's a non-modular system. You're not going to be adding batteries to it. Uh, so it's just it itself. Now you can add solar panels to it. it does come with solar panels in this kit. Okay, we're taking a look at um, the I'm going to tell you guys right now. My earbud quit yet again. I don't have earbuds. This is going to be a rough day if I have to play video with sound. My uh, earbuds just totally quit, and I don't have another pair sitting here. We're going to talk about it. We're going to get into it. I'm going to show you guys this. This is a large, large station. Now, this station is a beautiful station. It is packed with a bunch of technologies, including 12, to, uh, 12 temperature sensors, guys. Uh, with that, it's got a bunch of protections and everything else with this. We're going to get into a few different things. First and foremost, 3,024 watt hours of power with this device. It's only going to take you about two and a half hours to fully charge it on a wall plug. It has got an intelligent BMS system, which is your battery management system. That battery management system is going to allow it to charge properly, but also it's going to allow you to charge your devices at the proper charge rate while keeping the thing safe. Now with this though, it, let me tell you though, so the station alone is approximately 64 pounds. Then you get two of the Solar Saga 200 watt panels, which are their largest panels in this kit. This kit's normally like $4,000. It's $2,799 today. Um, there's also a 5% clippable coupon. If you want to clip that down there, uh, you have to clip it and add that in there separately. You'll also get that free carrying bag with that extra savings, which is an uh, additional uh, promotion with that. Now, this is a large device. It's got two USB-C ports that are 100 watts charging capability, two USB-A ports at 18 watts max charging capability, five AC outlets. Those AC outlets are going to do 3,000 watts of pure sine wave power, 6,000 watts max. So you can do that max wattage. Now, that means you technically can plug in like a, a TIG or MIG welder with this. Uh, how long could you run them? Uh, you mean your standard house refrigerator, like your double door? Um, at 520, those are usually about 520 watts. You have 3,000 watts of power. So maybe six hours, five and a half hours or so. Yeah. Um, it is 3,024 uh, watt hours. So you should be able to run about four and a half to five hours, maybe a little longer, depending on... I'm going to go there because... They're talking about your standard double door. Now, some of them are smaller, some are larger. Now, also, that's also meaning that you are leaving your fridge completely closed. You open that up. Of course, your refrigerator is going to kick into uh, a hyperactive mode to keep it cooler, and your freezer is going to kick on and vice versa, vice versa. So the runtime, I would say a minimum five hours. Minimum five hours. Now, technically, you could even run 1150 watt window AC off of this for a couple hours with no problem as well, uh, which is kind of cool. Hey, Sheila, how you doing? How is Sheila doing? Yeah, so you definitely you could run a fridge off of this. Uh, so, like, if you want to run like a mini fridge, you're going to get a lot longer runtime on a mini fridge. But the 520 watt refrigerators like your small apartment double doors or something like that, about five hours or so. Oh, well, well, that's good because I fell back asleep. 
I was supposed to be on earlier. <laughs> uh, let's go into, let's say you want to use it for movie night, guys. You could use it for projectors outside and everything. It has nice, large, three-inch wheels on the back. Uh, it does have some fusings built in with this one. Handles to lift it up. Uh, you're not going to be lifting 64 pounds all the time, so it's got a telescopic handle. That telescopic handle can actually uh, fold out and allow you to wheel it around like a literal suitcase. Now, I was saying that you could run a TIG or MIG welder. Now, a TIG or MIG welder, you're going to be able to run that for about an hour off of that. And most of those welders are approximately 5,500 watts of power. Uh, so you definitely can run a TIG or MIG welder off of this machine. You can plug in multiple solar panels and do all of that stuff with it. I uh, That was not my plan, Sheila. Definitely was not the plan. Now, since this actually has so many, watt, uh, so many watts, it actually unlocks a 30% tax credit uh, from the, you know, the United States uh, through the IRS and all of the other publications and stuff like that. So now, Jackery doesn't promise that, but you know, there is a potential tax credit with this one because of the amount of wattage that this one carries. So do know that you could probably save a little money through your government and stuff like that. Now, it's gonna be about six hours of charge time off six of those solar panels. You're getting two of those, so you're gonna to have to actually, well, I take that back. Three and a half hours off of six of those solar panels, you're getting two of those. So you're probably gonna be looking around seven to eight hours of charge time with two panels. Uh, so just know that it's gonna take a little longer. Now, technically, yes, this is, um, let's go in here. You can use it technically as an emergency power supply. It's going to take about 20 milliseconds ensuring continuous long plug-in. The problem is with that being said is when you're running a device, it has to be plugged into this, right? So that means even it, it wouldn't know that you you had a blackout. You're going to have to turn it on yourself and plug it into this device. And that's where I'm going with that one. This is not like a just a quick, uh, you know, style. So. But it's a great piece. I love these stations. I use them quite a lot. And I know you guys probably see me show them off a lot as well. Sometimes you probably get, you know, why is he always showing it? But hey, definitely we're checking out. Nice large screen. I will definitely show you guys the runtime, voltage time, and everything individually switched. Uh, the one thing I didn't talk about this one is, is it works with an app. Uh, the app where it does work on iOS and Android base for you. Uh, that Android base and iOS base means you have it pretty much on any device you want. And that means you can actually turn it on and actually use it as well. Now, right there, you guys saw I had it plugged into an air fryer. Guys, so you can run an air fryer off of this. Just have fun with it. Use it for what you need as you need. And this is going to be good for those of you who want to kind of live off of the grid. Uh, plug in all those solar panels, run a, you know, your little wood shop or something. And don't worry about it. Now, with that, we're going to move over to... The 300 plus system. Now the 300 plus, we're gonna show you guys a couple options of the 300 plus. First and foremost, we're gonna show you guys just the standard 300 plus system right here. 288 watt hour. And I forgot I don't have earbuds, so it's gonna play volume without me wanting to. to. That's just the way it is. 288 watt hours of power, guys, with this. One AC outlet at 300 watts of pure sine wave connectability, built in flashlight, and a handle that does move. It's also got a cigarette lighter plug on there for your 12 volt 10 amp devices like your fuzz dusters or air mattresses and so on and so on and so on. You also have two USB-C ports. One is an in and out, the other is just an out. And then you have, of course, that 15 watt uh, USB-A port. So you do have that as well. Now with this though, you have the runability to run a Nintendo Switch off of this or lamps or even mini fridges. It's got enough runtime to do certain things like that, but it's a portability with this. It's nice, light, and of course, carryable to be packed around. The one thing I'm gonna tell you is, is there's also an option of getting it with the 40 watt solar panel. The 40 watt solar panel is literally a notebook sized solar panel, which is really, really cool. Uh, that means you're gonna be able to carry it around. Now this package is like $236. It's like 21% off today. Now, we also have a second package in the carousel for the 300 plus. 
uh, with a solar panel. And that's actually a larger solar panel. That's the 100 watt solar panel. I can actually grab that because it's right behind me. So I can kind of show you guys the 100 watt solar panel to a T. This is, of course, the 100 watt solar panel. This solar panel is actually accessible, foldable, can be popped out, and of course, shown you guys. It's a nice large panel. Now, I'm going to tell you guys over the 40 watt panel, this panel is going to charge this device a lot quicker. And you're going to get a lot more charge rate out of this. But it is still portable, but it's not as portable as the 40. Uh, so you do have options. This is a good one. It is fully waterproof, water resistant, harsh and wet weather. Can be set up, does have kickstands. Kickstands are Velcro right here, kick out and set it up. You should be able to have this connected up and plugged and using in approximately under 10 seconds. It shouldn't take you long to connect that out. Pull that out and connect it up for that. Now with the 100 watt panel though, it's like 449, still a great deal. Good price point, amazing product, gonna do well for you. It's just one of them things that's going to work well for a lot of people. So good products. Very, very amazing, amazing products. And of course, guys, Jackery's got a sale going on. So if you spend over $1,000 in Jackery products, you get like a carrying bag. There's also, I mean, technically there's a coupon out there somewhere. I'm not going to talk about it, but hey, you know what? Just going to say there's a coupon out there. Now we're going to show you guys their largest modular system. Yes, that's right. Modular system. Now yeah, we can go into what a modular system is, and that's going to be, of course, me playing this video. The sound's going to come on. I'm going to have to shut it off. And today we're doing a... Just like that. This is the 2000 Plus system, guys. The 2000 Plus looks just like the 3000, but it is a modular system. That means you can add batteries to this. Uh, you can actually add up to five batteries to the system to give you guys 12 kilowatts of hour power. Or you can add a second system and have 24 kilowatts of hour power, run your whole house or your whole shop off of this for a good day or so. Now, we can get into some other tidbits and information about the 2000 Plus. Now, this is just the system alone. It's like normally $2,200. It's like $1,699 today. Now, 2,042 watt hours of power with this, five AC outlet plugs. One is a four standard. One is a larger style, still has the two USB-Cs and two USB-A ports. You also have, of course, that nice cigarette lighter plug for you. Nice, large three-inch display. That is a high contrast display to show you guys the battery charge uh, and everything else in between with this device. Has nice, large wheels on the side so you can tip it around and roll it around like a suitcase. The charge time on this one, guys, is going to be about two hours fully charged and you're up and running with a wall outlet. If you have solar panels, about six of the panels, about two hours the same, vice versa. If you want to use it in a car to plug it in while you're doing a road trip or something, most of those have like a cigarette platter plug, about 25 hours. Now, what I'm going to tell you is most cars where the cigarette lighter plug is, is a little bit ways away from where you're going to plug this in. Now, some of us actually have a cigarette lighter plug back of our SUVs, which is kind of cool. You plug it into that. Um, some of the newer cars, if you get the right packages, will have a house plug, and you can plug it in that way as well to charge it, and that's kind of cool too, which I kind of like. Runtime, though, you're going to be able to run 1150-watt window AC off of this with no problem. Uh, your Tigger MIG welders, yes, you can run that. Your CPAP machine, about 150 hours of runtime off of full charge off of this. That window AC, about under two hours. You're not going to get much more than that. Your house refrigerator, about three and a quarter hours or so. If you want to run a TIG or MIG welder, a little over a half an hour of runtime. That's like literally 5,800 watts. It's a lot of power to run off a device. If you want to run your charger iPhones, about 60 charges of your iPhone off of this piece by itself. Now, it's a good price point. comes with all the cabling and everything you can need. Uh, add up to five batteries if you want. This will still give you that, you know, that government discount you'll have to sign up for through the government website. Jackery doesn't give that to you. But it's a cool piece. I really, really do believe highly in Jackery products since I've started doing it. It's, you know, 
it's one of those things. You're blinded until you see the light. And once I started using the Jackery products, I definitely, the light was shined and I could see its places and what it could do and what it could offer to me. And that's what I really do like. I like the offerability and the usability of it. I'm trying to see if my earbud will kick in. I'm sure it's going. So Jackery, guys. Jackery, Jackery, Jackery. Well, I'm going to say, hello, little one. How are you doing, little one? Uh, since Sheila says the little one's with her today, we're just going to go there and be like, hi. Says my earbud's connected, but I don't think it is. I'm trying to attempt to get the connected so I don't have to keep stepping over the sound. I don't know, man. <laughs> well, right on, right on. A little other, a little one, uh, a few words. It happens. It happens. Oh, uh, let's see. Do I have sound? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Ouch. Like, anybody want to tell me what's going on with my stuff? Why it won't? My earbuds won't take over. I have no clue what's going on with my my, my earbuds. Possessed system. Something. I'm pretty sure everything right now in the world is kicking me. It's, it's one of them things. I can't do it. I have some videos I need to show. But. Now, we also have that Jackery Explorer system with two of the solar panels, the large solar panels, guys. Normally, like, $3,300. It's uh, 24 dollars Still a great system, of course. With that, definitely check it out. You're not going to be disappointed with that one. With that, we're trying to get... Right, it won't. It will not let my earbuds take over the system. I don't know what happened. I don't have no headsets in here, so we, we, we toast. Toast, my people. Toast. It's hot in here. All right. Let's talk about their largest solar panels, the 200s. Now, these are the panels that we were showing you guys in the last couple systems that come with it, uh, which is kind of cool. The 200s are amazing solar panels. They're a large solar panel. What you're going to see here is James talking about how he's pulling it out, connecting it up. It's a 200-watt solar panel that does 18 volts of power uh, through that connectability. It has a nice large case. Uh, it is a large panel. It is a trifold design with quad pa uh, quad paneling. Now, this is going to take you a little bit longer to connect up, under 30 seconds, and you're good to go. Still fully waterproof, water resistant, harsh and wet weather. Uh, you can use it out in the rain, the snow, whatever you want. It's not going to hurt the device. Now, don't leave your power station out in that, but you can leave the solar panel. I do recommend tying it down uh, because it's like a kite. The wind picks it up. It's going to fly like a kite, right? Um, I also recommend finding the most and brightest part of your yard that gets the lar the the most amount of sun. Now, yes, it looks like it's getting pounded by light right here. Now, what you're gonna see is when I plug it in within you know multiple seconds of it being plugged in, it is already reading over 150 plus watts of input power charging the device. Now, the longer you sit there, of course, the more light it's gonna hit. Uh, if you find an even brighter spot, you guys can kind of see the shadow behind you from uh, the part of the building, but it is an L-shaped building that I live in. It is actually a large building, so the sun is not directly beaming straight at it. It's overshadowing it, but if the sun was directly beaming on it, it's going to pick up even more light with this, which is kind of cool. Um, it's like I'm sticking myself with keys. Isn't that cool? I'm right there, guys. 153 watts of charge rate, right? That's 8 watts of pure connectability. I mean, it's like it's a lot of power. I mean, 8 hours to fully charge off one solar panel, that's not bad. So, 8 hours to fully charge that off of one single solar panel. That's what that was reading. So, 8 hours of charge time with that panel. Of course, I probably could have laid that panel out even flatter. It's a little angled. But monocrystalline solar cells works with a, a variety of their stations from the 1500 up. So you don't have a problem with it. It's a great, 
thing. I mean, honestly, really, really good product right there. Uh, how can you help? Uh, tell me where my earbud, my other earbuds are. That would help. I have no clue where I put the other earbuds. Now, we're going to talk about the Wubin E7, guys. We're going into flashlights. And I'm going to give Wubin a big shout out because Wubin is actually sending me a t-shirt, uh, which is kind of cool. I kind of like it because I've never had one of their t-shirts, so I'm going to have a merch from them. Uh, I'm switching hats, guys. This hat's a little, little lighter on my head. But Wubin E7, beautiful flashlight, packs quite a wall. It has a nice little brightness. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab it over here, showcase it off, right? The Wubin E7 adjusts. And, of course, like I said, I have no earbuds. So the Wubin E7, guys, this is a cool little flashlight. That's really amazing. I should have grabbed it out, kind of showed it to you guys. Uh, but it is rechargeable. It is 1800 lumens bright. If you guys get the uh, Wubin E7 adjustable headlamp bracket slash uh, carrying case slash headband, you can have a headband product with it. And that's kind of cool. Now, it does have a multi-light system. The multi-light system, guys, is going to allow you to need as you need. And that's kind of cool with that because I love being able to say, have the light where I need it as I need it with the brightness I need. You can go into turbo mode. You can go into other modes with this one. Now, of course, with that being said, you do have to do a few things like, let's say, turn it on, charge it up, you know, the normal, normal things that you would expect from a product like this. So that's not a big issue with this. Now, it is bright. The multi brightnesses, devices with this, it's kind of cool. Uh, right there, you guys are seeing that. I look straight at it, and I should never have looked straight at that thing uh, because, well, it's scary bright when you do that. Now, of course, with this, it's a good price point. It's like $23.99. You can't beat that price point with that. Honestly, it's, a, it's an amazing price point for a product. Now... With that, though, like literally I said, guys, you can have a headband with it. You can do all the other pieces. It's a flashlight that stands out with the test of time. Waterproof, water-resistant, IPX8 water-resistant, six modes of lighting. It's definitely what I would call an EDC or everyday carry. It is a little bit bulky, so if you're going to be carrying it in your pocket, uh, it's, it might not be perfect for the full-on pocket pocket, right? But it's not going to be a bad issue with that, of course, but definitely add the next product in the carousel to it. And that is the Wubin E7 adjustable headband. And we're going to play that video right here. You have yeah, the look, James voice comes up. But with that, now this, of course, is the Wubin E7. It's a cool little uh, piece. Now, when you go into it, though, you guys can actually, you know, start going and grabbing the headband and you can put the headband on and then you don't have to hold it around. And I kind of like that idea that, hey, I don't have to hold something all the time. Now, that's just one of those pieces. You don't have to worry about it. You're juiced up and going and good to go. I think my earbuds actually broke. Like, I, I got it connected to the computer. Okay. This side of the earbuds has broken totally. years of life out of earbuds and I can't complain about that <laughs> headband is fully adjustable guys so you can adjust it set it up put it where you want uh, and then it's set up and going you don't have to use a hat like me I just put it on my hat for easier access because you know I don't always like showing off my gray hair even though it's very distinguished looking but it's a cool little piece I like it the e7 e7 headband Wubin's got you covered, guys, with those ones. Fully, fully compatible. Now, we're going to move over to the Wubin X3. I don't know if this is me or Nikita. Everyone Nikita? May force be with you, Nikita. Now, still have a voice problem. So the, this is, of course, a wireless charging flashlight. So you get a wireless charging flashlight right there, right? You good to go, huh, you guys, everybody? 
let's check this out. Did I get fix it? This model of flashlight. Now, can you guys hear it now? Off, as you can just see here from the design itself, it has a really nice clip, so you can clip it onto like your pocket, your belt loop, whatever you may want it to. Fix my earbuds. Small and compact. Now, before I get into the actual functionality of this device itself, I want to show you some of the accessories that it comes with. So, first off, it comes with this really awesome, well-made like wrist lanyard right here. If I can get my camera to focus on it. Carousel is really slow really today. Nice thing. You can just put it around. Um, it detaches with a clippable part. Um, so you can just kind of take it off. It also, this, the, the, the lanyard also is a, a USB C to USB C cable, which I, I think is, is very unique. I've never seen anything quite like this before. Um, you know, a lanyard that also functions as a cable. That's really cool. And it's really simple to just, um, go in on the bottom part here and you just kind of feed the little wire through the bottom and get it to hook on. Now, I personally don't use lanyards all that much. I kind of... Now, guys, it is a lanyard. The lanyard is actually a charging cable on its own right. Now, with this flashlight, of course, guys, you can actually plug it in and charge it that way. You can do the wireless charging or use the base that comes. Uh, volume on the video is really... It's Nikita's video. Uh, Nikita's video is definitely quiet. It's not charged or uh, recorded as a high volume as mine. 180 degree light. So the light does rotate. So you can actually adjust the light and change the position of the light. Now it is a touch tap sensor. It does come in multiple colors. If you guys want different colors of the device, you can do that. There are, I believe it's 700 lumens uh, at 102 meters. Eight different light variations, like you have, I think it's like white light, one, uh, one lumen meters, 50, uh, vice versa, and so on. And then you have strobe, red light, SOS, and blue body lighting. The device does have a readout to charge you the charge rate what's left. It does have a keychain connection, so you can connect it up to a keychain if you really wanted to. But you can put it on a wireless charging pad, maybe the same charging pad that you use for your iPhone or your Samsung and charge it off of that instead of using the base that comes with it. And that's kind of cool. It is definitely 10 different modes, guys. Type-C lanyard, great for camping, everyday carry, and all of the other cool little jazz. He's just showing you guys some more lighting with this. Wubin makes the great stuff. Uh, hello, how are you doing? What's up? Welcome to the stream. Uh, right here, of course, he's gonna play around with it, show you guys the different light settings and all that other cool stuff, right? Now, while that's doing that, I actually noticed something that I need to fix real quick. I have a second camera on. It shouldn't be on. Ah, so cool. I like the X3. X3 is great. It's a bright, bright flashlight. Other, other cameras off. Um, it's a cool piece. Now, do be careful with the strobing, guys. It is bright. And strobing can cause certain people to have, you know, those seizure thingies. Uh, but it's a great flashlight, beautiful flashlight, good price point. Now, yes, this one may cost about $65, but it's the technologies that are built into this. You don't have to have a charging cable. It's wireless charging. Uh, maybe you guys need a quick charge, and you know some of these phones will allow for a charge out, so you can charge your flashlight or vice versa with this. Now, we're also going to show you guys the Wubin G2. This is a keychain flashlight. Look at the Wubin G2. Justin did this one, but we don't need the sound. I actually have the exact same flashlight. The Wubin G2 is just a smaller portable flashlight that's 500 lumens brightness. It has got five modes. It is definitely an EDC or everyday carry on a keychain or a pocket clip or vice versa with this one. Now, the modes you're going to have, of course, like strobe, uh, brighter light, lumen light, and vice versa. It's a uh, I think it's like 175 degree floodlight with this one. It is uh, drop tested to 1.5 meters, IP68 waterproof, so you don't have to worry about that. The beam distance is going to be about 46 meters at 540 uh, candlescence or lumens brightness with this one. It's not the world's brightest. Uh, it's also got a magnetic base where it can magnetically stick to metal. So if you need to put it on a piece of metal, it can do that as well. It's got what's considered like moonlight, low light, medium light, high light, and then turbo mode. Turbo mode is definitely going to be the one that's going to blind you if you stare at it. And I like that they add turbo mode into that. 
Now we have, of course, uh, I think we're moving away from Wubin now. We're going to move over into the world of Vivor. Now, Vivor is something that Sheila did for us. This is the 23 large capacity hey, hot warmer it's, it's by grandma. Vivor. She's, she's on and TV. It has a see through window. So there are some information about what you can use and how to operate, but it's really simple. So there's the power button, and the other button is for sanitizing, Slightly. for sterilizing. So yeah, huh? uh -huh. inside, it's really a lightweight unit. You see, I can just pull it, but it has two drawers and uh, catch any drips or whatever. So okay, you can okay, hold okay. up to 50 or, 50 or 60 towels, and it only takes 10 minutes to heat up. I was so surprised because I've seen other ones. Now, guys, this is the Vivor large capacity towel or uh, blanket warmer. Yes, you technically can throw blankets in there. You can throw bathrobes in there, but it's great for like spa settings uh, or maybe dinner parties, guys. If you ever done a like a large dinner party where you're like doing, let's say, um, sticky barbecue ribs or something, it is a real cool idea to have a whole bunch of nice steamed towels for people to wash their hands. I kind of like that idea. Or maybe you uh, work in a barber shop and you guys like to do uh, steamed uh, shaves. This has that place setting. It, it's a 23 liter. It's a large capacity. Heats up def definitely perfectly well. Uh, it's just that. It's a nice sanitary stationary piece that you could add to your settings. Uh, if you're looking for something like that, hey, they got you covered. Now, I believe we got the Fantech X9. This is also going to be Sheila. Yes, it's another Sheila product right the gadget here. Is now, this is the X9 Ultra. The X9 Ultra is a tire inflator uh, device. Now, this is something that she actually has. Uh, this is a three-in-one air pump. It's got actually six times faster than some of the others out there. It has a nice, large display on the top, and I mean a large display. And that's perfect for those of you that can't see a thing at all. <laughs> I'm just messing around, guys. Just messing around. Now, literally, you should be able to charge your tire from, let's say, 30 to 35 PSI in under 30 seconds, depending on the size of tire. Now, they say the max size of tire is going to be about 33-inch tire with this one. The one thing I will tell you, though, is, is if you're sitting on a large, heavy truck like a diesel or something, it may not work on that because that's going to take a lot of power to air up a tire on a device that has that much weight. Now, it is a multi-mode design. It is a 92.5 watt-hour device that can be a power bank as well. It's not just an air compressor. It's also a power bank. It means you have multiple USB-C ports and a multiple USB-A. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not saying, no, no, no. I'm talking about like a semi-truck. I'm not talking like your standard uh, vehicles. I'm talking like semi trucks that's carrying like loads. Um, but it will have uh, if you're if you load down the back of your truck with like uh, let's say a whole bunch of rock or something, it it will inflate. But it will yeah, it, it's not going to inflate properly. I've tested enough of these devices to know what can and cannot work with that now. This does and will allow you to do, let's say, 25 truck tires, 27 car tires, about 650 or 615 motorcycle slash bicycle tires. Uh, you'll even be able to do about 500 basketballs from 6 to 8 PSIs with this. Uh, it's a great little piece. This is meant for all around in general, but it also has an SOS light on the side. It has a cold light and a warm light. It's got its place. I kind of like this. Uh, you know... This is a cool one. I really do like this one. Yeah, typical inflation, yeah. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of... Uh, I mean, it would probably even have issues airing up my Dodge, my Durango, because of the amount of weight I have in the back of those car, that car. Um, so they do, uh, do get, kind of get a little sluggish. <laughs> right on, right on. Uh, it's also got, I think it's like a 12 to 24 month standby time. If you're not using it, that battery inside 
should stay pretty much charged for a good amount of time. Uh, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. That's kind of also another really cool live thing. Now, I believe we're going to be moving over to the YYDBS MFI certified wall chargers. It's going to be, I believe, your Apple iPhone device charger. Oh, it is. Okay, we're taking a look hey. at this iPhone 15 charger kit. Now, this is MFI. Didn't even know it was my video. It's a two pack, 20 watt chargers. Inside this pack, you're going to get two of the wall bricks. Now, these wall bricks will be standard household two prong bricks. Guys, these are standard 20 watt wall bricks, and it comes with the cabling. So, you get two of them. They're MFI certified, so they are, uh, they're certified, so they know that they won't damage your iPhones. Now, I'm going to tell you, I use everything under the sun to charge my iPhone, so I'm not too worried about that. Now, with this, MFI certified, good to go. Plug it in, charge it, run it. Now, I don't think this is the right video for this because that looks like it's non-lightning cable cables. Looks like USB-C to USB-C right there. Uh, might be, I did know I did two different products from this company. One was USB-C to lightning, one was USB-C to USB-C. Both the same design, both 20 watts, both MFI certified, so you don't have to worry about it. It's going to charge your iPhone at a nice rate. 20 watts is perfectly, perfectly fine. Uh, if you guys need a really, really, and I'm going to say it, cheap cable kit because it's not going to break your bank. It's like $9 today. This is definitely a way to go. Now, I think we're moving over into the range of the Fantech E1 Pro. The E1 Pro is definitely not me product, so I could show you guys the E1, but I don't think the E1 Pro is me. Let's see. This I take it back. The E1 Pro was me, and I have the E1 Pro, so I'm not doing a video. NEX E1 Pro from Fantech. This is an electric screwdriver that's going to allow you to do about 400 screws per charge. It's got a very cool little metal carrying case that is actually elegantly well done. Press the top. It's going to allow the piece to come out. Inside here, you're going to be greeted with, of course, the screwdriver and all of the bits that come in the kit. On the bottom right there is a latching mechanism. Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is that latching mechanism also will help you magnet and demagnetize your screwdriver. So if you want the bits demagnetized, you can do that. Hey, how, what's up, Steve? Screwdriver does forward and reverse. Has manual mode in center. Has torque one or torque two all the way around with this. Has every, which I'm going to tell you, has pretty much most bits that you're going to need to tear apart your PlayStations, your laptops. It's going to have them all. And it's got a nice speed rate for these. Each one of these bits are made from a nice high carbon steel. Uh, so... Uh, it's kind of cool that you're not going to break these bits. I mean, not going to say you're not going to strip them out because honestly, that could happen in any screw bit. Okay. Hey. Hey. Well, that's because I fell back asleep <laughs> and I'm late to my show. I literally fell right back to sleep this morning. But guys, it's got all the bits and they actually have taller bits, shorter bits, what you need. Uh, it's a great piece. It's USB C charging cable, any USB C will allow you to charge this. It's going to take approximately about an hour and a half or less to charge it. When you're done, put it back in the case, and you're good to go. This is a cool piece. It's actually a really good deal. It's going to save your hand from cramping a lot. If you've ever torn apart a PC, a laptop, your PlayStations, or other devices, you'll know that your hand cramps a lot, and you'll notice that I just almost hit myself in the eye, but we're good to go. But cool little piece. I like the NEX One Pro. Now, if you guys need a list of all the bits that do come in that, um, pause the show right there. Take a sneering shot. There are all the bits in this kit that comes with this kit for you. Now, that is a lot of bits. It's got your torch heads. It's got some T9s. It's got the 2.3 uh, triangle bits. Of course, it's got your insert bits and everything. This has got plenty to do. Yeah, it's, I'm normally I don't do that, but today definitely happened. Of course, Sheila told me I could go back to bed, so we'll just blame her. Um, 
I think we have a KYY portable extender. This is going to be like meant to turn your lap laptop into a triple monitor setup. Probably going to be Phil. Just going to say it. Probably Phil. Sure. I don't care. Take a nap. PC Phil here for the Dragon Bloggers, and here I'm very excited to show you this KYY triple monitor setup for a laptop, the model number is X90A. Here's everything that comes in the package. Starting off, we have a guarantee I fall back asleep. How to get them set up and ready to go, how to use the different connections with the different USB connections, BA to USB C. All right, guys, this is an IPS display, full HD 1080p. Uh, it's going to allow you to connect up to, of course, multiple devices. Uh, Different styles of laptops, depending on the one you want. Now, we're going to get into this. This is meant for like your 12-inch to 16-inch laptops. It will work with your Macs, your Windows, or your Android devices. Uh, they are 14-inch screens. They are full IPS style, 16.9 ratio with that, guys, of connectability. Now, 300 nits brightness is actually pretty bright for a laptop monitor. It does come with a flash drive with all the drivers inserted. 16.7 million display color, 72% NTSC color gambit. That's your color gambit with this. 360 degree rotatable, so you can actually fold it forward, fold it backwards. That's up to you. Actually has a menu button, a power button, and of course everything else with it. Has speakers. Now, it's got a kickstand on the back that's going to do about a 90-degree uh, adjustability for you so you don't have to worry about your laptop tipping over with the weight of this triple monitor setting on it. You can put it in what's called extended mode where you're just extending your screen. You can put it in mirror mode where you're mirroring your uh, devices, or you can put it in portrait mode if you really wanted to use just one screen. The cool part about that is, is you guys can put it in what's called presentation mode where you flip the screens around and people on the table can see the uh, the other screens and the product that you're showing on this. And that's kind of cool with this. Now there's a $50 clippable coupon. The one thing I'm gonna tell you is if you bought this for gaming, it's only 60 Hertz. Uh, it's not gonna be 120 Hertz, not gonna be a 200 plus Hertz. 60 Hertz is where it's at and that's all this is. It's that simple. Now right here, Phil's got it connected up. He's going to plug it in with the one single cable, which is kind of cool. Less cabling makes James happy. We've done some of these that's got so many cables that it looks just, uh. But dude, that towel warmer is really cool. I love that towel warmer. It's perfect for like, you know, just having a nice warm towel or a nice warm wash rag. I can actually use it right now, I'll be honest with you. I'm microwaving wash rags right now. I'm not going to tell why. I does have to have drivers installed, guys. It's just one of the things. So they do send the uh, with the drivers. The flash drive does have, of course, lightning connection and, of course, standard connection. You're good to go with that. Great little monitor. Cool little piece. I like that. KYY does a good job. That's just one of the things. So if you guys need, check it out. Uh, will I? The Ofuzi H8 Apex oh, is a tiny cordless vacuum that weighs so, under Sheila, two pounds. So Sheila, you're telling me I should be rolling around with 20 milliliter dust bin like this. It's easy to open and dump. You can lock it <laughs> after you close it. It removes from this the is vacuum how I'm doing it. easy and makes it right super accessible the filter in order to wash or reuse or replace the filter. Now you pop the filter back into the dust collection bin and it makes it extremely no, easy most definitely. to line so it up perfect and right lock now it in place. Eye. Now you're good to go. So you with guys Ofuzi had a close up of my Apex. The Ofuzi H8 Apex <clears throat> comes with a branded cinch sack that has several accessories in them, including a crevice tool that has an included brush. Now we can also put the brush on the vacuum without the crevice tool and same applies for the vacuum head itself. Now guys, with this, it's a full on rechargeable vacuum at a decent price point. It's like 24% off. It does well. I've actually had one of these. It's going to allow you to get the hair up and everything else with this. All right, it's just a great little piece. So this is a cool, cool little product at a great point. Now, what Sheila was talking about, yes, it would be great for my eye. Uh, most of you guys probably don't know is, well, that's what my eye looks like right now. 
It is definitely a little wonky. That's why we don't have overhead lights on right now because I didn't get my glasses out. <laughs> uh. But, oh, Fousey, guys, good little product, decent little price, will work out well for you. Now, we could show a video, we could show this live. We can actually talk about this. This is going to be the Eufy Video Security Doorbell. Uh, this security doorbell system I actually use right now. It's a cool little piece. Now, with the app, when you go into the app, you guys can have access to all of your cameras on hand. You guys will notice that my doorbell is actually active at this moment. It also shows that, well, I may need to charge the battery soon. What you'll also notice is, is it actually can see the uh, bottom of your doorbell. When I click this over, it's going to pop up, and it's going to show us the live scene outside my apartment right now. Yes, it looks like almost like a hospital, but yes, I live in an apartment building. You'll also notice that you guys can see my wife's uh, beach decorations, of course, set up out there to make it look nice and nice. Uh, which is kind of cool. Guys, you have two-way audio with this, screenshots, video recording. You guys can get push notifications, or you can set up AI tracking. Now, the AI tracking is really cool with that as well. Uh, the settings, guys, it connects up to a home base. You guys can do motion detection, power settings, uh, response settings, and where you can automatically response, uh, like a quick response. So if somebody rings the Deller, I can make it say, hello, we'll be to the door shortly, or I can make it say, no one's home, please come back later, or, you know, call such and such, vite, or whatever. Or even if I know, like, the other things. It also has a ring-out response where I can set out a voice response for certain people. And that's what's cool, because the AI detection can actually determine your friends from foes, uh, which is kind of cool with that. Delivery guard, of course, response settings, and everything else in between. This doorbell system is an amazing piece. Now, it is rechargeable. does need to be hooked up to a home base. Um, I have the upgraded home base, uh, but it does come with a good home base that works well. Uh, it's just a great little piece. Eufy does an amazing part with their doorbell systems. Now, full-on system, of course, if I go into the home base, you guys can see right there. Can control all my stuff it'll show you guys 38 faces have been managed uh it can show you guys ai empowerment it can also show you guys i've used uh, i got about 88 percent available of my hard drive still now i can go in and see my video archive as well with that uh the video archive is kind of cool because i can see pretty much who triggered the doorbell uh, i can see myself and everything else in between with this it's an amazing system. The app is completely free, but if you want to have uh, what's called monitoring, you guys can get that as well. Uh, they do offer a monitoring setup, uh, but I don't use it, don't need it. I have like six cameras connected to the system. My home is pretty much camera covered. Just one of them things. I'm always on camera anyway, so the camera parts don't bother me, but that is an amazing product. Um, Steven, my I, I keep getting what's called, uh, what do they call it? It's like a chalice or something. I have an oil gland that keeps getting blocked up in my eyes. So when it blocks up, my eye completely goes bloodshot and swells up. and I, It's just funky right now. So trying to get rid of it. Uh, let's go to the real link. Real link 4K. Now, Real Link 4K camera is probably me video, but it might be Nikita. Everyone, I made the force be with you, Nikita, with Dragon Ball. It's not. Show you the Rio Definitely Link, not. Hey, Ultra. Now, I can't I've even. The, my tear ducts won't model, even run. And this is the upgraded version of it with a. It's what keeps your eyes wet. Video. I'm super excited to get a setup because I love the Argus PT. It's probably my favorite model from Real Link because of how simple it is to just kind of plug it up, get it set up in the app, and then there's very little wire. It's actually a little bit better to today, which is good. About plugging this panel up to the actual Argus itself and then just plug this into the Argus and then you're good to go. And you can basically leave the the wire like this because... Now this is a 4K solar security camera that fully charges itself. You don't have to worry about it. Real Link has, again, a free app you guys can do. 8 megapixel color night vision, 2.4 5G connectability uh, with Wi-Fi. No monthly fees with this. 
The Argus PT uh, Pan Tilt 4K plus 6 watt solar panel, 360 degrees, guys. It's a great little product. Now, the details on these are actually quite vivid and great. You will can mount it in several ways. Like I said, 360 degrees, but will tilt about 140 degrees. You can set up, I think it's like 32 presets or 33 presets, um, where it will automatically, you tap it, it will go to that position. You can stay there. Uh, maybe you don't want it to pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, it's got one guard point. Um, the one guard point's a little bit finny. It's one of the things I've, I really don't use, but could be. Now, it is considered technically cord-free, flex flexible installation. But you do have to connect up that one solar cable to the solar panel, and that's the only thing with there. So that's what this. Six water, six watts of charging through that solar panel. Uh, every ten minutes of charge is going to give you, you know, ten minutes to charge about twenty-four hours of runtime with this, which is kind of cool. Uh, solar cable, about four meters of the cable is. It's got AI detection as well, where you can determine if it's a dog, a human, and vice versa. Not sure this one will do detection of the actual person, where you can label it out as a person uh, or who it is. But look how bright that is. Um, Hello, how are you doing? Thanks for the, being the first viewer. <laughs> I believe you're probably over on YouTube then. Um, people will pop it in and out. So, A cool piece. I like Real Link. Real Link does a good job with these. Now, we also have the Real Link. Power over Ethernet 4K system, guys. That's a little bit different of a piece. I'm going to tell you the power over Ethernet. It's another cool security camera that I Thanks actually did with this a look one. at the Real Link Duo 2. This is called the Duo 2. It is a dual lens security camera for inside, outside. You pick, you choose. Now, with this, it comes with the cabling to connect it up. comes with the base to connect it. Screw it. You have two lenses one is going to be your full k uh, 4k ultra hd at 180 degree angle the other is going to be like your uh, telescopic style but both of them do uh show off with this 180 degrees of angleability with this it has human detection vehicle detection pet detection color night vision and two-way audio you can actually insert this with an sd card to record up to about 256 gigabytes of hard drive space built in with the sd card now, the Dual 2 is what's called Power Over Ethernet. So it runs over an Ethernet cable. Your Ethernet cable is your powering device. That means you're going to need uh, what's called the NVR system. Now, the NVR system is going to be like your home base, but it's, it's a different style. So it's going to be your recording station. So you will need that to connect this, but if you already have one of that, connect this up to that. It's kind of cool. Now, of course, smart detection, vehicle detection, all the other cool stuff, 24-7 recording. Uh, FTP works with FTP, which is kind of cool. Technically, you can kind of pair it up with some other stuff. The SD card is not included with this. You will need that. It's a cool little piece, though. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you guys is, is they always give you like, oh, they give you an RJ45 cable, which is like your Ethernet cable, but it's never... And I'm going to say it in the nicest way. It's not long enough. It's not going to be long enough. You're going to need a long cable, depending on where you connect this up and where you have it set up. So just one of those things, one of those things. Oh, we're going to talk about my ice machine. That's right, the Freezy Dryer Dream Ice. Now, this is the X31. It's 33 pounds of ice. That's right, 33 pounds of ice. Actually have this and use this. Still. This is a very cool little ice machine from Friesmeyer. Now, now this ice machine from Friesmeyer will do two types of ice and will do a lot of ice per 24 hours. That's right. You're going to be able to make about 33 pounds of ice in every 24 hours of time. Your nine ice cubes will be ready in about seven to 10 minutes, small or large sizing. What I will tell you though is self clean. It has a self cleaner. Definitely use a self-cleaner at least once every week and a half. Just keep your ice nice and clean. Keep your machine clean. It's water, so, you know, sometimes when water gets stagnant or stale, it can get kind of algae growth, and you don't want the algae growth 
whatsoever. A uh, 2.8 liter water tank, which will hold about 3.3 pounds of ice in the ice bin, uh, which is kind of cool. Now, the self-cleaning piece is almost like uh, a turbo or, you know, tornado that spins around, goes through the tubes, pushes stuff out. The one thing I'm going to tell you guys is, is get some of that nice uh, descaler ice cleaner. Uh, descaler ice cleaner is definitely the way to go with this stuff. Uh, to get your ice machines clean, but at the price point for this machine, it's a great product. Now, they do have what's called a bundle kit that actually has a filtration system and a water filler that will fill this device so you don't have to. And I'm like, what? Yeah, you can do that. That's kind of cool that they can actually do this bundle kit. Uh, the bundle kit's pretty cool, but the ice machine itself, it's actually back here making ice right now, which is kind of cool. Oh, this little thing. Beautiful, beautiful machine. Really, really well done machine. If you guys need a nice ice machine like that, definitely the freezer. Let's pop over where we actually have it getting water. It comes with a little bin. You just dump it in. It's going to take about three and a half of these to fill to the fill line. The moment you start making ice, yes, you can add a little more to it. I don't recommend it because, you know, as it makes ice, it's going to melt itself because it's not a fully insulated. You guys can definitely put it in the bag it comes with and put the ice in the freezer. Or you guys can watch it go up, kick up, start kicking the ice over. Like that. Oh, allergies, guys. Allergies. I like it. Freezy Meyer. Cool little piece. Definitely worth checking out. Definitely, definitely worth it, guys. We're going to talk about clear storage bins that Hi, I didn't do. Kato, a dragon blogger here. Kato. You the clear space plastic bins. These are perfect for really kitchen well. organization, pantry organization, any kind of organization, really. You don't even have to use them for kitchen appliances. You can use them for cleaning supplies, books, whatever you may want organized. Clear space has definitely got you covered. They are stackable and portable, which makes them so handy when you want to store them when they're not in use. But they are absolutely amazing. They function great. They look amazing. They're very clear. You can always see what's inside of them. And they are just durable and ready for any kind of functionality. So if that's something you're looking for, then these are definitely worth looking at. Right there, clear space, guys. Cool little pieces. Now we're also going to show you guys the book white. Hey, everyone. Nikita with Dragon Blogger here to show you another Glockyscent clip-on reading light. Now, I love Glockyscent. They've become basically my favorite brand when it comes to reading lights, and this is about the sixth one that I've gotten to do, so I'm super excited about this one because this one's design is a little bit different than what I'm normally used to. So let's go ahead and get it open. Hey, Nikita. He's a good kid. And so I can show you I like messing I with him. Okay, cool. So has a little... He's got a really cool, uh, really cool like, uh, yeah, blog or like... Uh, show they do as well about star this trek is, this is different from the other styles that i've had so this looks like oh it's like a nice little clip too and it doesn't look like it's going to be too rough so the book that i have uh to show is you sent him candy bars to reread. It's we'll be feeding that kid candy this book is from the 90s but you can tell okay. it's kind of old uh so let's see <laughs> yeah 95 so the year i was born and i want to reread it but i'm a little was a little worried about what book light to use because the pages are a little flimsy and I don't want to damage them and so when this one came in I was like okay I'm excited because this one looks like it is very suitable not only is it does it have a point of articulation up here but it also has it to where he's like he's worried about his book you want to clip onto. and then of course I mean it has this uh, like a movable and like rotatable um too. So I'm kind of excited. So, uh, let's see. Power button. Oh, it has like a little charge indicator. And change the brightness setting. So one, two, three, four, five, and then back. And then a temperature setting also. So this is the more blue, the more amber, and then the more neutral. Okay. Okay, so it's got a it's got a really nice actually light. cool little flashlight. Look at all that. Now the only thing I don't see out the gate is where to charge it. 
is it up here that's the only thing that I'm confused about from seeing let's see it does last up to 60 hours and it does say that it is rechargeable so there is a charging cord on here but it seems to be oh okay so it looks as though you pull this up oh that's so cool that is so nifty so it's a, it's like a it's like a I think I sent it to you I'm not so sure if I sent it to the right one really awesome and you get 60 hours of charge with that and then of course the all important you need to be able to see how it clips on so and i'm always i'm always worried with these older books because i really want to avoid damaging them as best as i can look at him he's fighting it oh yeah yeah it must have been to the wrong one you have multiple pages i think and it doesn't i don't even have to worry about it having any kind of issues so i'd so a great little flashlight guys it's gonna work out well for you definitely worth checking out it's just one of those products that if you guys like to read stuff definitely see that one use it have that fun and all the other cool stuff with that uh definitely hey you guys gotta check it out right check it out now with that we're gonna be moving over into i believe the quin air leg massager we got several versions. We're actually going to show you guys the second one. The second one's kind of cool. Absolutely. It's the kid again. Not only does it come with this really awesome carrying. Uh, the first one, of course, is a little bit smaller. So not only does it cover your foot and calves, but it also covers. But the second one's a larger this full a really piece. Nice addition cool. to have. This is everything. It uh -huh. comes with. It's very easy to assemble. I'm going to be testing it on my kitty cat, Jonesy. Just kidding. He was just sitting in the chair. But, uh. I love Jones. Lost and everything. In all honesty, I'm just going to be testing this on myself, and it's very easy to put on. All my pages closed. Just like pant legs, you do one leg at Bear a time. Bear with me, guys. Around your foot, zip it up on your calf, and take the thigh Lost my legs apart pages. and adjust it around. Make sure it's comfortable. They recommend being able to fit two to four fingers in there just to make sure that there's some space so it's breathable when the compression starts. But basically, you put on one, you put on the other, you get it set up to the machine, and you can change to all sorts of modes. You can do between... A circulation a sequence and a combination change the strength from low medium to high and also oh, change no. the heat from low medium to high or no heat and it's just really easy to customize it and get it set to your perfect settings this thing is absolutely so comfortable i was able to doze off while i had this on it was just absolutely great and so if you are looking for a fantastic leg air compression massager with heat that covers from your yeah, foot all with the way heat guys quinier has for sure got you covered so it's actually a good little one. It's a great little piece. Uh, definitely an option to check it out. Great, great product, of course, right there. Now, we also have the one before that, like, just does the calves, which is kind of like this next one we're showing you guys. Uh, calves, and of course, you guys can probably do your uh, your legs and your arms and stuff. Hey everyone, the right here. here to show you the Quinine Another video I didn't see. Leg this is new. These are perfect for your calves, but you can also use them on your arms and on other parts of the body. They have a really awesome design. I love the purple and yellow that's on them, but they also come with a nice bag. These are rechargeable, so you don't have to have them plugged in while you use them, and they are very easy to put on. I love the fact that it shows you the different spots that you can put them on. You can use your foot, your calf, or your arm, and it's very very easy and very comfortable it's also very soft now i love the fact that when you put them on maybe james can get that video what video for it is right there in front of you and it's facing you too so it makes it really easy to use once you get both calves set up and ready to go or arms what video you I, yeah if he pops up and steven like write me a message on calves. facebook and they also recommend that two to four fingers can fit in there so there's, there's enough space oh to sauna bag. when the compression starts but it's really a sauna easy. bag where we're doing oh, both we of them at the same bag? time to get them where i want the setting to be i'm trying I to get my links back uh for the show the third intensity, i closed everything i absolutely love it uh, you know you can just customize it perfectly to basically whatever your needs are and it also right, cool, cool. automatically stops after 20 minutes just to prevent an excessive massage right, so got all my stuff back for an absolutely wonderful and 
comfortable massager for your legs. Right there, guys. Rechargeable. Of course, you don't have to use the battery power. It's a great option. Now, we do have the comfier version, of course, right here, the cordless knee massagers. I don't actually have these. I love these hey, things. James, hey, we're taking a look at the comfy. I'm going to tell you guys, the comfier knee massagers definitely, definitely where it's at. I would definitely say, hey, try these ones. I love knee massagers. Now, if you guys ever have problems with your knees and walking around or them swelling up, these will help with that. And they're a really, really amazing product and work very, very well for me. And I kind of like how they work. Rechargeable is where it really helps, you know, where it's at. Because you don't have to have a cable. You don't have to have it connected to a cable. You don't have to, you know, be wired down. You don't have to do that. You can sit there. You can put it on your knees. And you can get that massage. Now, technically, yes, you could get up and walk around while getting that massage. It has the auto timer, different modes. It has the heating levels. This is a good kit. Now, 30% off is actually a good price point for this kit as well. Uh, the one thing I will tell you, though, is, is, you know, you can use left or right. You don't have to have them both connected. You can do just single knees and stuff with that. Uh, which is definitely worth uh, all of that to have. It just saves you time, hassle, and helps out. Yes, you can put it on your elbows like I was showing you. So it's not just for your knees. That's also another uh, winning point for me because you can do it in other places. So right there, Comfier, amazing, amazing product. Now, we're also going to show you guys the HLS 350 milliliter aroma diffuser. Aroma diffuser is kind of cool. It's going to be Nikita. So here's another aroma diffuser that I just of course, Nikita. love. What's really cool about it is that. Where's that little guy? Nice I'm going to yell at him. To help clean it. And it also comes with a nice little measuring cup for it. But what really sells me is the light around it and the wooden aesthetic of it. Now. When you turn this button on, this is the light button. This simply activates the light and it's going to go ahead and cycle through some colors. If I hit the mode button, it'll allow it to do one, three, and six hours. And then if I press it, it one, four, three, and after six that, hours. Turn off. Since there's no water in it just now, if I try to hit the mode button, it's simply going to turn it off because it's going to detect that there's no water in there. Um, or maybe. Guys, with this, aromatherapy comes with a whole bunch of different scents, of course, with this. He likes frankincense. He's weird. I prefer cinnamon extract because I'm weird. Now you guys can throw some lavender in there. Throw your favorite cologne or perfume. That's up to you. Now, cologne or perfume is a little, little, little risque. Now, it does come with a whole bunch of them with that, guys. You have, like, I believe it's like rose petal, uh, orange citrus, uh, cedar and other vice versa and all of that on top eucalyptus and it does have my cinnamon I like cinnamon plug it in connect it up throw about as many drops as you want it doesn't have to ha be just a little bit of drops you guys can make it as heavy as you want with this that's where it's at honestly making it to your liking uh ship Roman what's up buddy hey Wiley thanks for the lurk bubber man how you doing uh, sorry, guys, didn't see you over there. My chat just started working on that. Um, that was really weird. So if you guys wrote that a little while ago, I do apologize for missing it. Now, with that, guys, add the water, add the scent, turn it on, let it go. You guys can let it run until it's dry. It will auto shut off when it gets dry. It's cool. Don't allow it to go dry, though. It has color lighting. You can change it to the light you like. Guys, that's where it's at. It's where it's at. I love aromatherapy. Aromatherapy is cool. Now, I believe we're moving into the Santiana Flare Leggings. That's right, Flare Leggings. I love them. They're whoa, so whoa, whoa, it's deer power. I ain't seen her in a while. I Where's Natalie? I sort of flare legging when I was a kid. Um, back in my day, we called them yoga pants, but I heard the kids now call them flared leggings. So, gotta go by the terminology that they use now, right, Hopper? That is not yoga it's pants. It's definitely yoga ish. Yeah, pretty good. They hug my thighs well. They're super comfy, ultra stretchy, easy to put on. These would be They're definitely to flared to bottoms. If you're going on a trip so, or something. don't know if that's perfect for really yoga. Like a themed, like, 70s throwback night or like a back. She's got them. Like, don't even go there. She has them. Wear them with some nice cute boots. I've seen them. Little like 
There's a video with her on high uh, platform cute. heels. I like how the pattern continues straight through this way, <clears throat> rather than mirroring and being exactly the same. <clears throat> There's actually a video of her in them, which is funny. In maroon color. I think it's super cute. But yeah, and the flares at the bottom are adorable. They've got such a cute little vintage look while being very modern with the fabric and all that good stuff. And they're so soft, but, and they do pass the squat check. So we love that. We love leggings that pass the squat check. But yeah, definitely. She squats that down without looking at the shelf a behind very her. Good thing to add to your wardrobe because I don't that think hurt. that these are going to get many, many compliments. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Oh, guys, flare pants right there. Now, we're also going to move over to some dream pairs. These are going to be the Ravona, uh, Ravona Low Wedge Ankle Straps. We're looking at the dream pair Low Wedge Ankle Straps. It's a dragon blocker. Flats. And this does feature a buckle closure on the side. These have about a one inch heel, know, so these are really going to be How about that, your guys? everyday, comfortable, pair of shoes I've low, not seen before. type of style. It has a cushioned footbed which makes it very comfortable on the inside. Doesn't hurt your feet, doesn't hurt the back. And this is kind of the neutral They look color. nice. So it's a neutral skin tone, definitely neutral. casual, or you can dress it up and use these as formal shoes, whatever you want to do. These are super I don't think nice they'll fit my feet, though. And just a really great addition Same. to your wardrobe. Exactly. They don't have them in a 13 triple E for me, either. So just go in there. <laughs> now we're going to talk about the Dream Pairs Soul Simple Ballerina Walking Flats. Now they're Mrs. Dragon Ball. New ballerina video, ballerina new product. Flats. These feature a rubber sole, an ultra flexible rubber outside sole as well for comfort, and a really soft inner lining. This is in the color black. and it's He says that. Now I got to go leather, look and see how big they, they have make. that kind of leather shiny look but these are super comfortable to wear very soft on the inside it doesn't hurt your feet these are very comfortable they go up to a 12 12 and 12 they go up to a 12 overall just a really good pair of all-purpose flats that you can wear with anything guys if you need a pair of flats right there dream pairs has got you covered multiple sizes and multiple colorways all the way up to size 12 which to me is actually quite nice to see that they're making them all the way up there. Now it does start down at like six, six and a half inch size, but goes all the way up to a 12. So go to little variations for you. Now we're going to move over into the Sojo's. If you guys have not seen Sojo's, these are going to be like sunglasses. We're going to start this off with the uh, retro round double bridge. I can't remember if this is me or not. No, it's Justin. I'm here showcasing the Sojos Retro Round Polarized Sunglasses. These are UV400 sunglasses. The model is SJ1104. And this particular color I'm showing you guys is the wrong the color, though. black gray, which I really like. I have the, the rose really, ones. Really, really nice. I like the double frame and the double wire on top. They look nice. I just like the round, very, very dark tint look to them. You can see the polarized and almost mirror-like when you can see from the camera. He looks like he's getting ready to go to a steampunk contest with those glasses on. Uh, he's about to DM the dungeon. He's going to get that game going. Now, Sojo's, guys, are great sunglasses. They have multiple variations and styles. And all of their glasses are at a very, very reachable price point. They're not going to break your bank. So if you guys happen to sit on them, break them, that's not going to hurt you. It's not going to be the end of the world because they are at a great price point. Now, these are mirrored. Do not, let me repeat, do not play poker while wearing these. You're going to give your hand away. Now, we're also going to show you guys another pair of Sojo glasses. Of course, so today we're it's a me video. Classic sunglasses from Sojo's. Now, these are actually in gold coloration, which are actually really cool. The lenses are UV 400 protected. I do have a mirror. Now, they are UV protecting, guys. They are mirrored style of uh, C. You can see the glare. Again, nice gold tone with the black back end. Has, of course, the double bridge nose right there. It's got this silicone pads that will fit on your nose very, very well. Like, uh, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, it's just one of them things. It's not like, let's like, say, like a solid bridge uh, like these ones. So you're good. It's got, the, of course, the silicone will sit a little easier on you. Now, if I would have realized my glasses were so close, we could have been wearing glasses all day and had better lighting going on. Now, it does come with the cleaning cloth. Again, this is like $12 today. 
not going to kill your bank account, but they're going to work out well for you. So if you guys need glasses like that, Sojo's is definitely a reachable price point of style. So just a cool little product if you're looking. I think we got the Vors Pack uh, Clear Purse. Going to be good for traveling for those people that, or even the schools that say you have to have a clear bag. Right here. The Vors Pack Clear Purse. That it was. is 8.6 inches long, 2 inches Products wide. Products I have and not seen before. Tall. It's perfect for essentials like your phone, keys, sunglasses, and a small wallet, as well as it has an adjustable. Now, it is clear and see-through, so you guys do know that you whatever you put in there is going to be seen. So if you're just throwing your credit card in there, guys, your credit card numbers are going to be shown. Uh, if you're going to throw a bunch of money in there, it's going to be seen. But it's kind of cool if you guys want to just, you know, have an open, like, style design. It's got its place. Maybe for a wallet, maybe a phone, maybe just a night out on the town where you just put the phone and maybe some lipstick or something. You can actually put your pods. It's just a see-through case. It's a cool piece. It has a nice little gold toned brass color and it's got a class to lock it shut uh, to fit around. Just a simple little product right there, guys, of course, at like $9. Now, for those people like Sheila, you may need some new uh, shears. Well, hey, the haircutting shears from ULG might be the ones for you. All right here, guys. Let's take a look at this James video. Barber cutting shears. Now this is for cutting your hair, of course. Uh, these are from ULG. Now these are a six and a half inch uh, style inside this box. Now you're going to have a six and a half inch full design, but it's going to have approximately three inch cutting surface. Now here, of course, is your shears. Now these shears do have inserts where your fingers go and those inserts can actually be pulled out. That's that blue ring. So those silicone rings can come out for you for people with larger fingers. If you leave them in there and your fingers can fit, it's going to cushion your hands so you're not like beating them up all day. Now, most of you know if you're a hair uh, hairstylist or barber, your hands will cramp after a while of using shears for years on, years out. Has a nice little design and cut all the way around. Has like a rubber stop. So when it cuts, it rubber stops. You're not hearing the click, click, click all the time. Super sharp. Three and a half inch cutting edge. And the rest is, of course, your handling. So you have it all with it. Now they are a six and a half inch design, but you have, of course, that three and a half inch, the blade size with this. They are nice, sharp, ambidextrous. You don't have to worry about it. You can use it on your left or right hand. Uh, for those of you that want to go out and purchase left or right hand, you guys can definitely do that as well. That's on you. Um, do uh, I believe we got a Spa Latiques kit set. I haven't seen one of these in a while. Let's talk Here's about another it. Product that I'm super we don't need Nikkei to talk him because, well, James is here to save the day. Related, so this is something that I'm super excited for. Spa Latiques, guys. And, uh, Spa Latiques gift set. This is an aromatherapy plus bath set. This comes with a carrying bag. This carrying bag will hold all your products but can be used for pretty much anything. This is a 15-piece kit. Now, this kit, of course, is lavender and scent. Inside here, you're going to get a lot of different products, including a scrub brush, a loofah, uh, bath, uh, uh, bath stuff, and stuff like that. So we can go into this. You're going to get a soap, a shampoo bar, a lavender massage oil, I think a two-piece two -piece bath balm set, shower gel, bubble bath, potty lotion, if I can remember right, uh, body scrub, bath salt, bath puff, and then, of course, the bath brush, plus hand cream, a dry hair cap, and of course the handmade tote. The tote can be used for pretty much whatever you want. The one thing I'm going to tell you is, I've actually noticed there are really no audio, no good. What do you mean no audio, buddy? There's always audio. Uh, the scent is actually decently well done. It's not like over powerful, so you don't have to worry about it. It's not going to destroy your nose i mean some people may think it's a little strong to me it wasn't that strong and i get like really sensitive to some of these scents uh this one's actually kind of cool now he's going through showing you guys all the stuff that comes in like the body scrubs and the the cool brush now the brush does have rubble bristles i use one of these in the house from this kit uh, i use it for scrubbing scrubbing hey yeah scrubby 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 now, of course, you get bath salts to go into your bath. 
you get, of course, uh, your soap bars and everything else in between and other little uh, body lotions. It's a full kit. It's a beautiful kit. The kit is an amazingly well done kit. If lavender is not your style, don't worry about it. They have other colors. You are good to go. They have other flavors, other scents, whatever you want to call it. They have, uh, I preferred, I think it was the, now I got to go looking for the scent that I actually really loved. It's like a Hawaiian scent. Uh, it's called Tahiti Island. The Tahiti Island was my fave, uh, but everybody's going to have their own favorite with the scenting. That's just a great one. Now we're going to move into, I believe, the Fun Flav Colored Pencil Kit for you right now. Hey everyone, Nikita with Dragon Blog. Nikita, show you the, the host with the most with no model. toast. These are made of solid beach and they are beautifully crafted with recycled wood, which is not only environmentally friendly, but non-toxic. These 24 colored pencils are absolutely fantastic. They have 10 dark colors and 14 bright colors. It's like 10 dark colors. Included pencil sharpener so you can keep your colored pencils nice and pristine now what's really awesome is that they offer a very vivid and smooth soft lead so that you can not only have the brightest and most vibrant color but it's also very easy and you don't have to worry about discomfort now what's really awesome too is the fact that these are just absolutely stunning as far as aesthetic is concerned the really nice kind of chromium silver is really nice now i have a very intricate design which i am looking forward to coloring in with this but as you can see it's super easy to just get started and get going and it's very smooth and nice i've never experienced lead like this before and it's just a, i'm going to have great fun getting to color this in so if you're looking for an absolutely amazing set of colored pencil this 24 pack by fun lobby is absolutely fantastic and i promise you you could not go wrong choosing them for your next brand of color pencils. We're right there, color pencils, guys. Now, we're going to show you, I believe we have one last product in the carousel today. This is going to be a bed chair. It's like a, a waffle king-size style blanket. Now, what do I mean by waffle is going to be like the pattern? You guys are going to see this. So, right. this is the bed chair waffle weave. Now, it's a waffle weave bed chair blanket, guys. King size. It's lightweight, extra large in size. Now, with that, they do come in multi-colors. We're showing you guys ivy, but there is like purple, blues. There's uh, so many colors. It's crazy. There's also different sizes from throw, twin, queen, king, and oversized king. Now, the king size is 104 inch by 90 inch in size. Now, it is, of course, breathable blanket made from uh, like rayon derived from bamboo, which is kind of cool, uh, which means it's got cooling technologies because bamboo is like kind of cooler. Now, we're going to get there. We're going to talk about it. It's a beautiful, luxurious blanket. I use a lot of bed shirt around my house. I love bed shirt. Now, right here, of course, we're just showing you guys this version on hand. He's showing you guys unfolding it, giving you guys a look at the pattern. This is going to look great on your couch, your bed, wherever you really want to use this blanket, you can do that with because it is that elegant of stuff, but soft, very, very soft. These blankets are amazingly, amazingly soft. They're just a beautiful little blanket. Honestly, I love the bed shirt blankets. I literally, if you guys look behind me, see if I can move. There's a bed shirt throw blanket right there. There's actually one on the back of the couch. There's one in the corner that we grab. Uh, our whole bed is covered in bed shirt, but a bunch of cool little pieces. So that is actually, I think, the last product I have for today from bed shirt. Uh, that's actually the last product from the carousel. With that, guys, I want to thank you all for being here. I will be back, of course, again at another date. Uh, Nick, uh, Blake will be coming on later. So I want to thank you all for being here. I apologize. Allergies, man. Allergies. Let's see if I can restart that. Blake will be on later today, guys, with another stream. I will be back again probably tomorrow and Sunday. Um, I know Sunday I also have Jackery streams, guys, so you guys will see the Jackery streams as well, uh, which is cool. I also have a Jackery stream Monday on that. But I want to thank you guys for being here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I've appreciated you all hanging out with me and having fun. With that being said, have a good weekend if I don't see you guys on the next show.
Later, everybody.